Hi folks, Axel on Honolulu.com where we get on Android every day. You know, we've got a quick ROM overview. It's an AOSP ROM. Uh, this ROM is pretty cool. It's going to turn your phone into a Nexus device. Uh, it is really, really fast. Everything works super fast. Uh, way faster than TouchWiz. If you're tired of TouchWiz, you may want to consider something like this. Also, you'll get to run the latest Android 5.1.1. I would say it's very, very stable right now. I haven't had any problems with most 5.1.1 ROMs. Uh, also, you can go ahead and install this on T-Mobile S5, which I've got installed here. Also, the International G900 F, M, I. Uh, any Qualcomm models, it should work. And also, you can install on the Sprint S5. Uh, so, you get the latest Android 5.1.1 working out of the box. Uh, first thing, you'll get very, very good performance. I'm getting around 44,000 on Antutu uh, with this ROM. And also you'll notice that I've got the Android M styled uh, launcher here with the app door. Go ahead and move quickly. Uh, by alphabetical order. The search bar is missing. That's the only thing missing, but it looks really cool. I really like that feature. Also battery life is excellent on this ROM. Uh, the reason I don't have any apps installed is just because uh, I've been actually uh, doing a lot of factory resets, but believe me, it's got great performance, uh, great battery life. And now if you want to go look at some of the customization, you'll find all that in settings, uh, under AICP extras, gestures, uh, buttons, all that there. Uh, AICP extras, you'll find some various, uh, shit there, a <laughs> uh, bunch of stuff here you can do. Uh, notification drawer, you can go ahead and customize everything, uh, enable Wi-Fi view, uh, stuff like custom color options, quick pull down, all that good stuff you're probably used to. Now here's also status bar, you can go ahead and customize your clock, change it to center if you want, uh, add AM, PM, show the date, so you know it's Monday or Friday. All right, battery settings, you can also change the battery style if you want. All right, battery bar. All that good stuff. Uh, heads up notifications, this is sort of an advanced way of customizing your heads up notifications with Lollipop. Uh, you'll find that when you're playing games or watching videos, it's so sometimes annoying the heads up notification just appear out of nowhere and just block your view. Now, if that happens to you, uh, for example, you're playing, you know, Battle Cats and you don't want to be getting notifications while you play games, go ahead and add app there and add the app or the game. Uh, and also you can blacklist apps. Um, so heads up. Notifications don't work there. Also, you can also change the timeout, all right? Uh, so you can set it to two seconds or 10 seconds. That can help too. Uh, so there's a lot of ways to customize uh, your heads up notifications, uh, which is essential when you're running Lollipop and make it run just as uh, the way you want to. System animations, you can also customize all of your uh, slide in, slide in rights, make it all look really cool if you customize all this. All right, so this, you should be able to see it here in a second. Also, you can change the LCD density, all right? And also you got uh, Slim Pie. If you want pie controls, go ahead and enable that. You can also control, the, uh, make sure you change the trigger options. And you can go ahead and change the buttons uh, to all of your favorite shortcuts at two levels. And I don't know why it's not working, there we go. All right, that is very nice. And in addition, there's also App Circle Bar, which is one of my favorites down here. Uh, this one kind of similar, but you get that nice, nice scroll effect. Ah. Okay, here. I get out of it. There we go. And you get the app, nice App Circle Bar. All right, for gestures, it's got some gesture things that will show you notifications. All right, other extras, uh, there's some more options here, obviously. Also, kernel auditor, you can see exactly how much CPU power is being used. All right, also you can control the CPU here. There's no overclocking with this one, but I actually don't recommend overclocking. Uh, I mean, if you want to, but it is really fast out of the box. Um, so definitely, definitely check it out for this week's wrong week. Again, it is available for T-Mobile Canadian, the international Qualcomm models and Sprint. Uh, if you want to be running the latest, coolest uh, Android 5.1.1 ROM, uh, this is definitely one of them with a ton of customization. Oh, you can see, you could see the uh, custom the custom animation I just made here. 
you'll see that it slide on from the right. So that's what the custom uh, system animations can do. Other than that, very solid ROM, love it. Uh, great battery life, great performance. Do let me know what you think. Uh, and as always, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And as always, I'll stay on Android.